Hello everyone, this is Neuronium. Welcome back to Banjo Tui. Without further ado, let us start up a new game. I should mention that the intro cutscene will have desynced audio, but that's because of how the game was originally made for the N64 with slowdown in mind. Two years have passed since Grintilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground where she remained until this very day. Poor Klungo. Kazooie. Hey, 
You fool bottles! Well, that's not good. Sucks for my house. Just walk it off. I'm sure you'll be fine. And there we are, back on Spiral Mountain, with a destroyed house and one dead mole. You okay, Bottles? Good question. But looks like Spiral Hill has Spiral Hill, Spiral Mountain has uh, seen better days. There goes the Klungos. So just like before, we have eggs to shoot. We have things to destroy. And boop. We got feathers to be able to fly. All right, we're gonna get more eggs real quick. You can hold up to a hundred of them normally. Gold feathers, same as before, invincibility.
Oh, you came out of nowhere. Luckily, the piles restock. So we're gonna go and get more feathers to fly. So controls are pretty much the exact same from the original Banjo-Kazooie with all of our moves that we learned in the first game. But what will happen now that we have all this stuff here? Well, for one, we're going to fly up. And if we wanted to, we could actually go into Grunty's old lair. Is what I would say if the flying in this game wasn't so weird. Also, if the camera could, like, cooperate. I forgot how weird the flying is in this. There's another way we can get in there, and that's by climbing the ladder. That was once the bridge. But I want to go in here the flying way. And look who it is. Hello again, Banjo. Remember me? I'm Cheeto, the magical spell book. I, I don't know if I should read it because of the the noises they make but then again it isn't proper voice acting so you know what i'll just read it normally so yeah uh cheeto here because he helped us in the last game grunty got kind of mad and ripped out his pages for every five pages we return i'll let you in on a little secret you mean a cheat well i'm not called cheeto for nothing all right, so that's one thing we got to find in stages going forward. We got to find Cheeto's pages. There's generally, I think, two or three in each stage. I want to say two. I could be thinking of Banjo-Kazooie. It, it has been... Okay, so to give an idea of when the last time I fully played through Banjo-Tooie... It, it was once. And that was in 2009 when it came out for the original Xbox. Like, when, when I say I am not the biggest fan of Banjo-Tooie, I mean it. I have played Banjo-Kazooie way more times than I've played Banjo-Tooie to completion. Because it's just so long for Banjo-Tooie. Also, because some of the later levels suck. Like, I really hate them. Bright side about Banjo Tooie over Kazooie, though. Kazooie does not bring. Tooie does not bring over the life system that Kazooie had. Alright, we're gonna go up over this way. And Tui does add some quality of life update abilities that are really nice. But overall, I still prefer Kazooie because of just the level structure and how it takes place all in Grunty's lair. Now, there are a few other places we can go to. So, as you can see, there's a Cheeto page right here. Collect five, then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. Okay. We already knew that, Cheeto. We already talked to you. I forget. Is there actually... Let's see. Totals. Objects and items. Okay. I know that there's more inside of Spiral Mountain. That we need to get. Hurry, 
At least we have the talent trot right away. Right, we got honeycomb pieces. We got our speed shoes. Now there's one last thing I want to do here in Spiral Mountain for the moment before we end up going over to our next area. I'm gonna gonna be bomb because and there we are. So go right on in here, and we have a new passage. Now I can't do anything in here behind the waterfall, but if you look over here, there appears to be a Banjo Kazooie cartridge. Now what is it we're gonna be doing? Well. There's a ledge right there that leads to the other side. We'll come back to that later. But for right now, I believe a certain bad guy is waiting for us. And I hear the whistle of a Jinjo. Why, I wonder what else we're going to have to collect in this game. So, let's go and see what Klungo's up to. Inside the tunnel. Behold. Klungo, minion with a mission. <laughs> if it isn't Bear and Bird who caused so much trouble to Mistress Grunty. Hmm, I don't recall anything like that happening. <laughs> you is stupid. At least we can speak properly, mean. Klungo is mad now. Your game ends here. Uh oh. Look at Klungo go. Boop. Clever Klungo hide behind magic shield. Now show bear my special potion. Whoop, I got hit. Oh, I got hit again. Touch damage. There we go. Bye, Klungo. Nasty band bird hurts poor Klungo. You asked for it. Why don't you run off and we'll forget this ever happened? Hmm, good idea. But you not seen last of Klungo. Klungo coming, mistress. Please beat failure, Klungo, with broomstick. Poor Klungo. Interesting. So it seems... I never noticed that there were more things in here. But let's follow the trail right here. And head off to a whole new place. Where were we heading to? Welcome to the Isle of Hags. 
and the Jinjo Village in the Isle of Hags. Hey, thanks for watching! If you want to check out more Banjo Kazooie action, check out the top link for a playthrough of Banjo Kazooie for the Xbox Live Arcade. And if you want to see another game that was exclusive to the 360 back in the day, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of Fable 2.